Hello all my knitting friends. Welcome to Hudson Valley Knits. I am Amy, also known as Memers on Ravelry, and I am Memers66 on Instagram and Twitter. Welcome! I'm down at the river today. It's Sunday, Sunday the, I think it's the 28th? I'm not sure, 28th or 29th. Um, I'll tell you in a second. Today is the 29th. My inspection is due soon. Anyway, for my car, anyway. I, um, I am down at the river. It is about 45 degrees, a little nippy, but not bad at all. It's 7 p.m. and the sun is going down. So I am going to get right into it and I'll go into any chitter chatter later when I'm home so that you can see all the lovely things. All right, I have no finished objects because I have been having starditis. I just have a bunch of almost finished objects. So let me show you those. Almost finished. This is it. The Mashad socks with the Jill Draper Make Stuff sock yarn. I am at the toe of the second sock and the toe has a nice pattern to it. I'll show it to you on the finished sock. And I got all screwed up and I'm not sure what I did wrong so I just kind of put it away. See how the toe has this uh, nice pattern to it? Well that's where I am right now and I'm all misaligned so I got to Make sure I have the right amount of stitches. I might have the wrong amount of stitches and then I'm going to make sure I'm lined up right and then I'll definitely have this sock finished very soon. And this is kind of why I'll probably podcast again next weekend. I'll be upstate at my parents' house for Easter, but um, I'm sure I'm going to have a lot of finished objects to show you. I started a pair of vanilla socks just to have something in my pocketbook to knit that was mindless. Here it is. Oh, you know what? The label is in my pocketbook still. It's a German yarn. It's got a little kitty cat on the label. And the name escapes me right now. Here's the yarn. I know it's a very popular. I will get it and it will be like down here. All right, for you. So that is in my canoe bag by Jan Smiley love this bag. Oh, and this is um, a little little skein bag, right? Yeah. Anyway, this is one of her first kits, I think. Those are the two socks. I also started, just to have a smaller kind of, I realized I didn't have any shawls on the needle. I started a um, lefty shawl. I've been wanting to make a lefty shawl for a while. It's on my goals list for 2015. I'm using Miss Babs yarn. This is Slate and this is Joan of Arc. I think I showed this to you last time. I might have just started it. I'm not really sure. Here is what I have done so far. Come on, needles. I'm using my... Um, signature needles. I only have 40 inch signatures. It's pretty good. I still don't have the leaf part memorized, <laughs> but I'm really looking forward to having this shawl wear, being able to wear it. And so I got a little bit of that done, but really what I've been spending most of my time on, and uh, practically no spinning, just a wee bit of spinning, because I had, um, the spinning meetup last weekend, which is one of the reasons I wasn't able to podcast last weekend. Um, I've been working on my ice shanty sweater and I am in the middle of sewing it together, but let me show you the cape lit kind of, um, this is the Violetta or whatever it is. And I'm just not even going to take this out of the bag because it's like I'm in the middle of sewing a seam, but here's the two together. I think it's gonna be so beautiful. And um, it is really complicated to sew this thing together. And I was thinking about it when I was, um, when I 
been in the process of it and I would do a few things differently and I will put that in my project notes in case anybody else wants to. Here's the pocket. I did the inside of the pocket, the purple. So um, I would do things a little differently um, and I'll explain that just for a little less seeming. And um, yeah, so I brought that down here so you could see kind of, I am done. I can't hold it up because it's not um, all pinned together and I will definitely be able to show you this this uh, at the next podcast all finished and I'll actually probably wear it I am so psyched I will be starting a sweater for my daughter next and uh, hopefully oh shoot I lost my strap here it is um, this is in <laughs> my Joanna Springs bag I almost lost the strap um, okay here's my Joanna Springs bag with the frogs Okay, those are my whips. Like I said, no finished objects, but I did get some stash enhancements. I um, am joined the Hedgehog Fibers Sock Yarn Club, and that's two skeins of sock yarn a month. Two different skeins, and I'm really excited because these are gonna look wicked good in the shawl. So this is flamingo, hot pink, light pink, some black, and a little smattering of, which I find in a lot of her, um, colors are these uh, rust. I think she must really love that color. You can see some rustiness in this skein too. This is Flamingo and this is Go Play Outside. It's got the sky, light blue like a sky blue. It's got a little dirty looking, I think it's a great color. Pink for skin knees maybe, I don't know. I love Hedgehog Fibers colors. Sock, sock yarn is great. I discovered her first at a VK Live in New York City, I want to say two or, two or three years ago, and I made a, a hat, a woolly worm head hat with that, and it was a one-of-a-kind color. It's gorgeous. Pink's in that, and her signature tanny rust color. You can see that the sunlight is going away. Um, I also went today on a, to a knitting party. So my friend Ilma from my local knitting group, which, but she doesn't come anymore. She, I guess she can't go because of the day we, uh, we meet is not good for her. Uh, but Ilma does a lot of crafts and she's involved in pottery, woodwork. She's doing all sorts of glass. She did some mosaic glass work. So she's not so much, um, coming to our knitting group anymore, but I've known Ilma for years and she was at the Knitting Guild meeting last week and said, are you guys coming to my knitting party? And I was like, is it at your house? And she said, no, it's at the LYS. So we went to the LYS up in, um, I don't know if she's in Hopewell, let me see. Hopewell Junction. It's about, it's less, I would say 45 minutes north. And she was uh, had the Hudson Valley yarn crawl. She was a part of that. It's out of the loop. I used to go to out of the loop a lot when my daughter was younger. Her dad lives in Hopewell Junction, and I did a lot of driving back and forth to Hopewell to drop her off, pick her up. And I don't think there was a time that I didn't stop by this yarn store. Now, before it was out of the loop, it was another yarn store, and I can't remember the name. And this woman took it over. I don't know her name, but she was really, really, the owner was wonderful. My name was in her computer. So she gave me a 10% discount. She's usually closed on Sunday. She opened for um, Ilma's party. And Ilma had wine and little sandwiches and cookies. I took some pictures, it'll be at the end. And uh, antipasta. Um, and coffee. It was just wonderful. It was a great idea. So, um, she had little goodie bags. I bought the goodie bag because I thought this was just so sweet of her. Now, this was all Ilma, and the yarn store got a little business because people bought some yarn and she gave everyone 10% off. So, everybody kind of made out and we had fun knitting and chatting. I met some wonderful people. Um, so in the goodie bag, Emma gave us some 
um, stitch markers. A, of course you got, you can't have enough of these. It's a uh, measuring tape. Um, this is for, you know, chart reading, highlighter tape for chart reading. Look at pink. And a darning needle. Uh, I really, really, is she, now, this is attached to the card, and maybe she gave uh, Elma a deal or not, I don't know. But it, the, um, I haven't been there probably in a good five years. Um, since I've been there because my daughter, um, she was living with her dad for a while and then she moved back in with me and now she lives, she doesn't live at home anymore. She's out on her own. So I don't go up there anymore and I'm going to be going up there more often because they were just so wonderful and friendly and really, really wonderful. Huh. So Oh, I think her name is Teresa Kirby because that's the name on the card. It's out of the loop. It's right off the Taconic State Parkway. Now, I'll tell you, if you are going to Rhinebeck and you take the... You, some people go up Route 9, but you can also go up the Taconic. You should stop at the Route 52 exit. It's the exit right after Route 84. And make a left. And you should check out. It's not. It's like not even a quarter of a mile down the road on the right hand side out of the loop and stop by and see Teresa she's so wonderful and she has Madeline Tosh and Malabrigo and lots of other wonderful sock yarns and just a great selection of yarn she's very helpful and it looks like she teaches classes too free, well free help of course when you purchase the yarn there but I noticed she was very helpful despite everything I was invited to this party. I didn't, I, like I said, I hadn't been there for years, and there were there were no comments made about the fact that I was knitting on Miss Babs yarn. I was knitting on my lefty. Um, I did not feel uncomfortable at all. I felt so welcome. I did buy a couple of skeins, so let me show you what I bought. She has a huge selection of Madeline Tosh and Malabrigo, like I said, and I had a hard time making up my mind. But knowing I can go back there and like uh, if I want to do a multicolor shawl, I can bring my current stash and I can go there and find a color that works with it. But I picked up, <laughs> I was only going to buy one skein just to be nice because, you know, I don't like to go to a yarn store and not buy something. But I had to buy two. I couldn't make up my mind. So this beautiful, gorgeous, saffrony gold color is called Gilded. It's Tosh Merino Light. It will be a shawl. All my Tosh Merino Light will be a shawl. I have a ton of neutral colors and I wanted something that would give a pop of color. But I couldn't help buying something to add to my neutrals. This is uh, a little more purpley than you're seeing. It's like a, it's a dark charcoal gray with a very, um, um, it's got a purple color. You could see purple in it. It's not black. Um, it's composition book gray. It's gorgeous and it looks beautiful next to the gilded. So that was so much fun today and I will definitely be spending more time at Out of the Loop. I've always thought of, um, I go to also um, uh, my other local yarn, I'll, I'm gonna call this now one of my local yarn stores, but my other one is that I go to when I get my hair cut in um, Cornwall is the Cornwall Yarn Store, which is also a wonderful place with a great selection, but it's across the river, uh, on the other side of the river, kind of going towards uh, West Point. And I, like I said, I go, I go there and get my hair cut. So a few times a year, <laughs> I go there and I'll stop at the yarn store if, if it's open. So I also, have a couple of important things to say. I wanted to talk to you about a virtual knit night. I was talking to one of the, um, uh, I can't remember her name and I can't look it up because I don't have Wi-Fi here and I'm recording on my phone so I can't even look it up. But um, we were talking, one of the viewers asked me if I would be interested in doing a virtual yarn, uh, knitting night. 
I've done it through Knitting Blooms. I've done it with um, um, Emily from um, Butterflies. Oh my gosh, I'm having a blank. Um, Butterfly Knits. She had a wonderful virtual knit night. So I will do it. I am scheduling a virtual knit night for April 11th at 6 p.m. Eastern Time. And I'll have a sign-up thread. Uh, I've never done it before, so I will have to try and um, uh, maneuver around Google Hangouts. But that's... Um, I participated, so I'm pretty sure we'll be fine. And uh, that's, that's the one big announcement. The other thing is I did some spinning just a little bit at... Um, our spinning meetup group which was last week we had a huge turnout and I was like really excited um, so I did finish while I was there I finished the um, gourmet stash ponies so this is the second ounce here it is this is um, holiday aftermath I bought this it was a uh, my Christmas present uh, my husband from my husband I picked it out I, I have a bunch of punies from gourmet stash that I picked out so here's the second ounce I'll be two plying it with the first ounce which is did I bring that I, I don't know if I brought that I guess not okay um, but I'll also show you this while I'm uh, at the next podcast I'll have this plied up and we'll see how it looks and I don't know what to make with it I can make another pair of mitts like this. That would always be nice. I don't know, we'll see. And next up on the punies, I think is gonna be this. I'm gonna, I'm going to spin up each color separately. And I don't know if I'll, I think I'll just two ply it. But I have two, I have two bags of this, each one ounce. And I'll just use them as little accent colors. It's a, uh, very, very airy and fluffy. From on the round, what does she call it? Mother Earth Poonies. Hand dyed, hand carded, New Zealand wool. One ounce total. It's got like this greenish blue, like a seafoam green. Seafoam green. This gorgeous red, this brick colored red. I love the red. It's like a cranberry. So deep and rich. This purpley blue with some greens. Ooh. Uh, we, have, we have this neutral, which is almost a little yellow. And we have this beautiful brown with lots of accent colors in it. 100% wool. It'll be a nice worsted spin. I will spin this on my Bosworth spindle. And yeah, this is going to be really nice. I think I'm going to spin it on my Bosworth spindle. Um, I don't know. We'll see how it turns out. I'm going to try and do it nice and thin. I want to do two ply and I'm thinking I'll do some stranded knitting with it. So that, my friends, is the Down and Dirty podcast because it's been too long and I feel terrible that I skipped a week and because it's getting dark. The sunset is beautiful. The river is beautiful today. Um, and um, I will be podcasting again next weekend. But mark your calendars and check the, po the Ravelry group, Hudson Valley Knits, for the virtual knit night. And I will see you there. Hi guys, I am back one more time. I um, I was in such a rush down when I was outside by the river to get everything in before the sun went down and it got dark that I forgot to talk to you about a couple of very important things. First thing I wanted to say is the socks that I was showing you, the, the work in progress vanilla socks. Do I have them handy? I don't think so. Yeah, let me get them. These are Zaberball. Zaberball. I'm not sure if I'm saying it right. By Chappelle. Crazy Zaberball. And the color is 2092. Um, and I am referring to this. So I just wanted to get that out there. 
Um, I also wanted to tell you that I was wearing one of my Wooly Wormhead hats called Erica. And this is an Erin Waite um, Spirit Trail Fiberwork hat uh, yarn that I got in one of her clubs that I, I was in one year. And I was also wearing that. And another thing I wanted to show you real quick, because I can hear my husband downstairs. Oh, no, never mind that. I was going to show you the um, stuff I was spinning. But, yeah, I just wanted to get that in. I also wanted to say that at the spinning meetup last week, I got to meet Colleen, who is Harmony's mom on Ravelry, who came down. And she's actually joining the spinning group. I'm really excited. I'm, I'm glad to get some new spinners in the group. And I could tell she had a great time. And we just, everybody hit it off. So, I'm really thrilled about that. So thank you, Colleen. It was really great to meet you. I'm glad you joined the group. And um, without further ado, that is uh, basically what I wanted to get in. So now, goodbye for real. Bye-bye. I'll see you next week. I'm going to have lots of good stuff to show you. All finished. All right, ciao. And let me um, show you the river. So here is the river today. There's a sunset. The sun's already behind the mountain. I just like to come down here and listen to the water. Can you hear the water? Ciao for now, guys. Bye.